Looks like those three are in trouble. Stay back! Be careful, Dotton! Protect the harvest! We can't let it get past us! Get out, Lynn! If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. You might want to, uh... Where are the Utaru's land gods? So in the fields are white. It's like they're still following their programming. Now it's killing everything. Tomorrow, and Zell. An outlander in plain song. You'll want a word of warning. Avoid the ruins northwest of Plain Song. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. I'm here, as promised, but singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl, but I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone, but Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, f the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe, and most in the chorus, want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osaram. It is our archers at the cordon that truly hold the machines back. May I stand? No. 
attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right, then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. Donna wanted to see you. I don't know why, though. We called them archery practice, too. Are they really afraid of you? Outlander. Maybe you look hungry, Outlander. Some Tanakh can apparently command machines. That's my stash. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who'll even listen to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? 
Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tanakhs. They live to fight. As usual, among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the western clans. If they're not attacking here, can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the Berry Deers, which I believe outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrifice too much. You said your own people won't help. The Chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru. And normally I wouldn't question them, but they see outlying settlements like Riverhem as lost lands, no longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. Aloy, wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plainsong? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. Bringing an outlander before the chorus. I hope this works. It'll be. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it Zoe will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. 
We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah. By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. and around. Fighting in the fields ahead. Machines before. Hunter killers. They must have come from the cordon. The others will defend hands. We have to move. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? I'm right. Um, yeah. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just meeting with the missing Lion God in that cave. The trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead.
this now. Now onto the cordon. I think our battle is let's go. Right behind you. Almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. We shouldn't linger here. May the land gods forgive our trespass. What is that? A kind of wall. Made of... light. We'll have to find a way around. Up Follow here! Follow your lead, Aloy. I'll pick these up.
like a cauldron door. <laughs> to understand what's going on in there, you're gonna need one of these. On the temple, just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I'll help. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. to find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. being repaired too. thing I said. It wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the mountain is rather to the birds.
we can do this. This place was meant for the wind. on that panel like this good stay there that did something be a way across if I can get them into the right position. Another floor panel. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down? What's that thing beyond the wall? I'm working on it. on the pillars should be exposed now. Should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. Save the extra stock for later. Fastest cables are all over that node. 
Drawing back. We can climb up that vent. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. you too. Who is that? Looks like there's another node on the other side. Near that door. Go do your thing. Activate. Get on, Matrix. Fine. How to get to that node on the other side? It's a big place. We'll keep looking. Thank you. 
taken over facilities before to build deadly machines. But it wasn't always hostile. They used to be part of something good. Something called Gaia. More of those cables covering that door. Node, I can override nearby to shut it down. It's still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning.
Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. There must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. And you can learn it? Let's find out.